Now here's a young man who's been paying great attention to TV theft. He's the producer of the recent comedy hits Knowing Me, Knowing You and On the Hour, both of which are about to leap from radio to television. We asked Armando Iannucci to talk about each medium on each medium. As a medium, radio is far more versatile than television. You can use your radio as a doorstop, to do the ironing, as a cheese grater, or to wear as a hat. Television, however, is a much more unwieldy horse. It's too big to wear as a watch and uh, too small to use as a Wendy house. The good thing about radio tape is that it's easy to cut, so you can reorder speech to your heart's content. Here's a letter from a lady who lives in the south of England by the name of Richard, who's a fella. And one day, Julie gave birth to Richard and his sister, his mum and his dad. She was just... Videotape is that bit more difficult to edit. On telly, cut up the speech and you can see the joins. Which is a shame, really, because there are a lot of programmes on the telly that can do with editing down. Good evening. Good night. Radio is a hard man's medium, full of dangerous sound grenades. Radio employed stuntmen long before telly ever did, ready to step in whenever announcers were going to say difficult or hazardous words. The National Youth Orchestra will be joined by the Bach Choir, and the conductor will be Tadaaki Otaka. The symphony forms part two of... Telly, however, is a medium for Nancy boys, people who play safe with tried and tested names. TV bosses may fall over backwards trying to put on John Cleese going to the toilet, but it's so much easier to do it on the radio. But I was too tall too soon. I was at... Uh, I was six foot when I was 12. How keen are you on cricket? Well, I wish I spent a bit more time watching it. Eventually, of course, the TV people will win because they've got money. Thanks. Radio, however, is run quite literally on a shoestring, which sits in a glass case in Broadcasting House and is brought out for budget meetings. And it doesn't stretch. Most studio recordings on radio are done by simply shouting very loudly onto a piece of tape. Tyne, Dogger, Fisher, German Bite. Northerly, veering easterly, four or five. Mainly fair. Good. BBC Radio Light Entertainment has given television some of the best comedy programmes of the last decade. Unfortunately, it's given them to Channel 4. Recently, however, the Beeb hobbled into action when Director General John Burt asked four members of his management team to form a committee to sit in a room with the radio on and phone the best ideas through to his television controllers. And the next popular radio idea the committee has decided to transfer to television is the pips. They were originally planned to go out as a news format, but a drive for bigger audiences forced them to try out a more down-market look. Eventually, the Beep has decided to go for a family audience and will broadcast the Pips next autumn as a six-part sitcom series consisting of five half-hour episodes and a slightly longer sixth one. <laughs> 